Lacazette. They really want him in the middle, but um, they get the chance to get their neck uh, in towards Harp. He's still on side here as he tried to dig that into the pipe in possession, nearly creating a chance. There's still problems here as Piontek tries to get something on target, and it looks like Milan have got themselves the corner. Well, the setup of this system under the new manager is to try and get the advanced midfielder on the ball. Maldini does it brilliantly there, just finding space between the two units of Bayern Munich's midfield. Ribery and Robin, that's no easy task. Obviously, they identified and had done from advanced Bayern here. Pavard picking up the ball essentially in the middle of midfield. And it's in towards up. It's in towards. Yeah, Coran points to Davis to signal. That should be put out of play. What a fantastic, tempting ball into the middle. Just seen a replay now. You worry whether or not Arp oh, just catch. Clipped in by Kimmich here. And Muller with the header couldn't generate the pass in that situation. Teammates arriving here and flicked over the bar. And he'll try and cause Calabria problems. Was he caught there? Not in the eyes of the referee, says... Teo Hernandez. Chance here, Calabria. And then a foul by uh, Coleman. You just feel that Calabria right back for AC Milan, bearing in mind Evans, you're bound to be nervous as a young player. Great ball, Davis, Coleman. And he tried to... Pressure. Well, you're, you're spot on there. He's not really like a Danny Alves or a Carl Walker type. Right? Three inside the penalty area here for Kimmich, who's got away from Hernandez. And the flick on nearly ran through to Coman, put behind by Calabria. Asa Malanga struggling at this stage. Just the setup is allowing Bayern Munich too easy to get into those wide positions. They've been done it on the right side, the left hand side. It's because that diamond midfield is so narrow. That they can comfortably get into those. The game here, Daniel Maltini. As, uh, there's a foul by Young. Peter Arp. Toliso. Big kick against him. Gary, your thoughts on the first half? Chalnolu again. Well dealt with when this of a return to Germany to play for RB Leipzig. He's back to help defend this corner, which is confident. Castillejo. Davis very sharp in to win the ball off him. Around the back, support from Milan. No one was tracking him. It's the end product there, Chalhanolu. Calabria has to get forward here, and the right backs had a good first touch. Oh, oh and he nearly finds a teammate in the middle. Still going here with Barini, and gathered by Neuer. Well, they are quite narrow when they're attacking. Milan, it's all through the middle, but the fullback they're able to get forward and help out. Well, his teammates were all having a go at him. What running here from Teo Hernandez has charged Milan up the pitch, and then the effort same time that he perhaps expected after that injury, the injuries to Andrea Conti, who would have been the. Uh... Good pair from Sanchez to me, but. Uh... Coman, Sanchez, will belt it. And with good reason, it opened up there for Renato Sanchez, and he hit it very cleanly indeed. On a room in goals, not happy with his teammates. They've got enough men in around. Look at them standing and then you step in and get the strike on it. It's a great strike. Just looking to cut across at the last moment, hoping it. Kimmich swings it in, and it was met at the near post by Muller, who gives him the thumbs up. In the middle of the park, and it's a great because you can overload that midfield. The only problem with that shape is it's so Kimmich Davis available to come and now here is Davis with him and he's beyond his marker and he'll get to the byline block by go short with it by him Renato Sanchez floated in towards Zulo who attacked the ball come on to the byline Leon Goretzka, oh, with some of the training ground, Muller lays it off, and Kimmich was not working for Castillejo in that position now, although Zula has just gifted Catroni with a chance, and Milan should be level. Good save from Sven Ulreich, but the Milan substitute with a wonderful opportunity for 1-1.
brilliant goalkeeping, you have to say. Made himself big. As is the modern day goalkeeper now, they're so good making saves with their feet as such. They make themselves so good. And we'll see if those uh, differing fitness levels, because Bayern are uh, really back into the fray already. Piontek flicks it out wide to Catrone. Barini's there, out jumped by Pavard. <laughs> to play that to Muller and he's caught so confirmation on by let's get to Muller by back after he's comfortable in both positions cut out by the youngster here is Thiago can understand the mindset that could potentially turn him into a modern day fullback and he runs to Barini tidied up by Goretzka rumors in terms of potential signings AC Milan are reported to have made an approach for Luka Mo Goretzka, Bayern have turned it over, Goretzka trying to burst through the middle, Arp is onto it and that was Thiago's corner. Deep it goes to Renato Sanchez and Pavlo Jevic. Coman wiped out by Chawanolu and he's not happy Whoa. at all. Well, Alfonso Davies has done his uh, teammate a huge favour there by stepping in because Coleman had lost it. I think the reaction that happened and you, the reaction you want from him now is, well, listen, I'll show you. You don't want to see him sulking about. The chairs opens up for him. That will be a free kick, surely. Wow. Well, I thought his, he was caught there. Take it, boys. Take it, boys. Three in the box. Tries to get to the back post from... Uh, Tiago. Even from that goes central to Chalonolu. Calabria takes on Davis. And get, um, players and managers want the game to flow, but it's just that fine line between what is an obvious foul stepped away from European competition as punishment. You do feel that if they concentrate solely on Syria. Bit of skill, bit of fortune, couldn't quite get beyond that last man. So impressive in just a few months in Genoa that Milan forked up big money to Altini. Let's to run. Piontek on the turn. Beats up on the turn. Sing slices it. And you can see it does uh, establish possession. Still fighting for it, and he scored. Great moment here for Fita up the young Conte didn't mean that pass, but he's found Barini. Player to be at these clubs at that age. Still has won it, sure enough. Calabria. Brilliant defending. We talk about David. For Bayern here, can he make the right choice? Goretzka. Oh, the pass has to come to Muller. We again, Piontek and Catrone are both under the free kick for this kind of range. He was at Milan, although the short run up, and it's seen in the uh, second half brought into the starting 11 late when Lewandowski was actually named in the. Chohanolu, five in the box. They have it back here with Davis, shut down by Biglia doing that. Pava, Castillejo, Petrone, Goretzka, Muller, goes early with it in towards Harp. Too much on that for uh, Petrone. And all the turn, and what a ball. Old fashioned a chance here out of nothing. Muller tried to swing it in towards Harp. But Thiago doing what Thiago does. Brilliant play by him, trying to close him down. Just takes it on the outside of his right to take you out of the game. Ball initially goes into Muller. We're just seeing that arc chance again there. Flat of delivery. He's across the front of the centre half. Maruma. Alibra on the overlap. No one there on the penalty spot. And uh, to go prior to Euro 2016, actually, I'd say. But he's more the provider now. 16 assists. Returning. Can't bring it under his spell. Not in time. Davis, I sit down for Muller.